birthday, Pac-Man turns 30 years old. Uh, he was originally released in Japan on May 22nd of 1980 and uh, developed by Namco, primarily by a young employee named Toru Iwatani. Uh, over the course of a year, beginning in April of 1979, uh, his team was actually only nine men, uh, nine men strong. Only nine people put together the game. Uh, the original title was actually pronounced Paku Man, P-A-K-K-U. And uh, it was just inspired by uh, a Japanese phrase, which is Paku Paku Tabiru, which describes the sound of the mouth movement uh, when widely opened and then closed. So basically, uh, the motions that Pac-Man makes. Um, it's often, often, oftentimes cited that the character's shape was inspired by pizza missing a slice, but he admitted in a 1986 interview that it was actually only half true, um, that there was other things that inspired it as well, but that was part of it. Um, his uh, his effort was to appeal to a wider wider audience uh, beyond the typical demographics of young boys and teenagers, uh, and eventually led him to add elements of a maze, which was to I guess to appeal to the masses. Uh, the result of all his efforts was actually a game a game called Puck Man, and the original name for Pac Man was actually Puck Man. Uh, when first when it was first launched in Japan in 1980, it received a lukewarm response, uh, being that Space Invaders and other and other similar space type games were were the most popular things at the time. Uh, but later on that year, the game was picked up for manufacturing in the United States by uh, the Ballet Division of Midway, and they altered the title to Pac-Man, uh, mainly for the fact that they were afraid that Vandals, as they say, would have changed the P to an F and completed it into a complete expletive. Instead of Puckman, it would be something else. So they changed it completely to Pac-Man for, for the United States release. Um, it, it soon became a worldwide phenomenon without, within the video game, video game industry and uh, resulted in a number of sequels and merchandise. And I mean, the success was just, was just amazing. Uh, it eventually turned into an animated TV show from 1982 to 1984. Um, which I remember watching growing up as a kid. Um, they, it spawned a, a top 10 hit single, uh, Pac-Man Fever. Um, he appears now in more than 30 different spin-offs, um, and he ha actually has the highest brand awareness of any video game character. Uh, when they, uh, the researchers actually did a poll, and 94% of the people I interviewed and polled recognized Pac-Man and who he was. Um, he's part of the longest running video game franchise in history, and he's actually one of only three games on display at the Smithsonian Institute, uh, along with Pong and Dragon's Lair. So he's one of the th one of three games on display at the Smithsonian. Um, originally released on on uh, the arcade title, they actually refer to what we know as the ghosts as monsters, and uh, they they eventually changed it into. Uh, ghosts when they when they ported it to the Atari 2600 because of the fact that they would blink when uh, when they would be moving. Now, to me, I think that was a glitch in the Atari 2600 system. But basically, um, they are claiming they did it on purpose. So who who knows? Uh, but that's that's actually when they officially turned them into ghosts, so to speak. But uh, Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde, the the four ghosts or monsters that chase you throughout the game. And uh, and Guinness has, has actually recognized Pac-Man as the most successful coin-operated game of all time. It, it does have the Guinness record for that. So uh, just just an all-around great game, a great series, um, completely revolutionized uh, video games, especially when they came to America. And uh, I just wanted to to say happy birthday to my friend Pac-Man, and uh, you know happy 30th birthday. And uh, here's to 30 more. So uh, that's about it from here, guys. Until next time, AC Card Shark. Take care. Now, Pac-Man isn't just a game you play, it's a crispy corn cereal that's coming your way. You fight me! Chuck, Chuck, delicious! They're Pinky and Blinky and Pinky and Clyde. We're Marshmallow Bits. You find inside. You fight me! Chuck, Chuck, delicious! It's Chuck's Crispy Pack Bun. Chuck's Crispy Pack Bun. We're Marshmallow Bits that you can chomp to. You Pac-Man, the cereal! A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. You fight me! Chuck, Chuck, delicious! Oh, Pac-Man, I'm beat. And I'm hungry. Thank goodness for new Pac-Man pasta from Chef Boyardee. New Pac-Man pasta? Mmm, little spaghetti shaped like us. Delicious. And because Chef Boyardee's packed with goodness, it's great for when we have to eat and run. New Pac-Man pasta from Chef Boyardee. With meatballs, mm. without meatballs, mm. or chicken flavor. Mm. Thank goodness for new Pac-Man pasta. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee.